Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 32 in Mapping Data Flow Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to add headers or title above column names in file using Mapping Data Flow. So let's see our requirement in details. So I have the input file like this, where we have the list of IPL players. So we have five columns in total, that is serial number, player name, team, base price, and price paid in crores. So my requirement is to add a title or a header like this which states Indian Premier League 2020. So before the column name or before the actual header, I need to add some title like this. So how to achieve this using mapping data flow? Let's see in practical. So let me go to Azure portal and let me first show you the file. So I have the file named as iplplayers.csv. So if I open that, you can see it has the same data that I showed in the presentation as the input data set. Okay. So now I will take this as the source data set and we will try to transform and add the title that we require. So let me go to ADF and here let me start creating the data flow. So first of all, let me uh, turn on this data flow debug option so that the cluster will be ready and we would be able to preview the data during the creation of data flow. So let's wait for this. Yeah, so the cluster is ready. Let me add the source transformation and let me uh, create the source data set that will be pointing to the file iplplayers.csv. So my file is in ADLS Gen 2. That means Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. So let me select that and let me select CSV format and let me select the existing linked service and let me navigate to the file path. So my file is in ADLS input container and the file name is iplplayer.csv. So let me select that. So our first row is header as you can see. Uh, the first row is the column names. So let me select first row as header and let me import schema. So the data set is ready. Let me go to data preview and hit on refresh to preview the data. So let's wait for the data to be fetched. Yeah, so the data is visible now. You can see this is the same data that we have seen in the presentation. So we are good. So now what we want to do is we want to add the title on top of the content of this data set. So let me add sync transformation here and let me create a sync data set here. So let me create a new data set pointing to ADLS Gen 2 and our content will be CSV format. Let me select existing linked service and let me uh, select ADLS output folder as the destination folder. So here we don't have any file called IPL output file. So let me uh, click on OK and we will give the file name later in the settings. Okay. So I don't need to import schema because it is the sync data set. So let me click on none and we just uh, we will just ignore this first row as header as well. And let me go to sync settings. So here we will give name to the file by selecting output to single file and by setting single partition. And here let me give the name as IPL output file dot CSV. Okay. So to add the title, uh, what we need to do is we, we need to use this header option. So it says we have to enter an array of string values to add as a, the header of your output file. Okay, so this is the example that they have given. Let me copy this example and let me enter this in the expression builder. So what title we need is, let me remove all the default titles. So let me go to the presentation. So the first thing that we need is uh, this equal to bar and then Indian Premier League and the third line should contain 2020 and then again we need this equal to lines okay so let me go back and here let me try to copy this uh, equal to symbol and, and let me paste it as the first item of this array and let me give comma and then we need indian indian premier league league and then the year we need as 2020 and again we need this uh, equal bar okay as you can see this line should come again so uh, these are the content of our title so let me hit on save and finish and now let me preview the data so here you can see we are not able to see the title content here 
in the sync settings even though we have added the title in the headers option so it's okay for now let me try to run this pipeline and see if the output file contains the header as we have stated or not so let me try to create a pipeline that will call the data flow so let me drag this and let me hit on debug so the data flow execution has started so let's wait for its completion yeah so the data flow execution is completed so let me go to the uh, storage account and here we will go to adls output where we are expecting a file named as ipl output so you can see ipl output file.csv is available let me hit on edit so you can see the title is available now so we are able to generate the title on top of the content of the data set so let me try to download this file and let me show you the content properly so let's wait for this to open yeah so you can see this is how the file looks now so one thing is missing here we are not able to generate the column names here which was there in the uh, input file right let me show you the input file now let me go to ADLS input and here in iplplayers.csv you can see we had the headers that is serial number player name everything okay so uh, let me go to sync setting again and uh, let me go to the data set sync data set and here in the uh, option that is first row as header let me tick this checkbox and let me try to run the pipeline again okay so now let me navigate to adls output folder and let's wait for this data flow to be completed then we will check uh, if we are getting the uh, column names as well or not yeah so the data flow execution is completed now let me go to adls output and let me hit on refresh so now let me check the content of ipl output file so now you can see the uh, column names are also displaying so let me download this content and let me try to open this file and let me show you uh, the content properly yeah so you can see now we are getting the title as well as the column names so this is what our expected result was so you can see we are getting the title and we are getting the column names as well and the whole content as it was in the input data set it is as it as it is okay so that's it for this video guys i hope you like the content please like the video and please uh, share this video and also please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet and uh, if you want to get notification please uh, click on the bell icon to get notification whenever i add videos thank you